Beatles album ever. This this one has been pretty quick, hasn't it? As a yeah, uh, Beyond Salvation was released only just over a year ago. Oh no, two years. No, I reckon a year and a bit. I think that's also. Your biggest album ever. I mean, just TV domestic. Did that um, did that sort of revitalise yourselves? I mean, having so much success with uh, Beyond Salvation, did it kind of give you a new lease of life. I think so, yeah. It was, it was gratifying to, to have the album do that well and uh, having done that well on our terms and we weren't out to please anybody except ourselves and it did well so that, that made us very happy and I think, yeah, gave the band a, a bit of a shot. Hmm. Redback Fever is the, the title of the new album which is a, a, a bit of a theme running through. Rick, can you enlighten us as to the, the plight of the Redback? Uh, it's quite simple, really. Um, the title is... Uh, title of an old book that I found in a junk shop um, written by a scientist back in the uh, late 1800s a guy called Dr. Echt and um, he, uh, he talks about red-backed red -back spiders um, giant red -back spiders you know like this sort of size that's a big red -back. and um, <clears throat> the fact that it was written by a scientist got got me intrigued so I started researching it a bit further and I found all these reports of sightings of these things you know dating back to sort of 1850 and right through so um, we called the album Redback Fever and um, wrote some of the songs around that theme and there's a whole lot of uh, excerpts from his books and journals and stuff in the album. Some of that love, the first, the first single is, refers to the fact that apparently the female is, is bigger than the male and she's, she's, Much a, bigger. Oh, she's, yeah. a wicked, she's a wicked thing. Yeah, I think there's, a, there's definitely a parallel uh, between the redback female and the female human. I think you're losing the ladies by the moment, Bob, but please continue. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do they do? They, they sort of have their way with the, with the, with the men folk. Yeah, there's a, th this particular redback is obsessed with uh, the female, is obsessed, as are most women, with uh, sex with the male. And after having uh, done her duty, she... She kills him. Goodbye. Sign and out. on with the next one. Yeah, so it's pretty intriguing stuff. And Thanks for that, moving right along. And, yeah, thank you and good night. So, so if that's the thought behind the song, the, the video is, is something out of the ordinary too. I mean, it's, uh, you shot at Jarvis Bay? Some, no, some it's uh, Nowra. Yeah. The, uh, the old Navy base there, HM, HMAS Albatross. How did you manage to, to, to pull it off with all the planes coming and going? That must have been a logistical nightmare, wasn't it? It was wild. Uh, yeah, well, it took it. I just gradually got into the idea and um, started uh, offering all these extras. It started out, we just wanted to get some of the old planes in the background. And, uh, you know, next thing they're suggesting, uh, what are those jets? Big ones, big black ones. Yeah, big black, you know, mean ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. serious stuff. They're, they're all fans of the Angels down there, so uh, we were very lucky in that they put on stuff for us that they would do for nobody, for any price. So Rick and I were standing on the runway, which is apparently highly, highly illegal, but I didn't say that. And uh, we had these jets taking off literally you know, 20 feet away from us. It was unbelievable. The noise was outrageous. It was well, so loud. Let's see what we're talking about. This is uh, the boys um, down there with all the planes taken off and stuff. This is the angels. Some of that love. <laughs>
Some of that love, that's the Angels, um, Top Gun stuff there. Amazing footage, isn't it? Fantastic yeah, stuff. Absolutely wonderful stuff. Yeah, and the it was things great doing it. Really were.